tried the sweep a couple of times now. That's uh, free Vaughan. This time connects. Adams will be aiming for the stumps. So she said the goal has been then quick flat in at the stumps. Be careful at the non-striker's end. Don't steal yards. Full toss and put away. That's well dealt with by Burns, who is under pressure at the moment. Yeah, that was a loose delivery from Georgia Adams. She's generally been pretty good with the ball, but on this occasion, a full toss and Erin Burns makes no mistake. She knew exactly where she wanted to put that ball. Does it with conviction. This is brilliant batting. Absolutely brilliant batting. Experienced players, Burns. It's finally getting an opportunity here to possibly get her team home. Well, this game has just shifted now. Birmingham Phoenix is to lose. And that's very much thanks to Erin Burns. The last couple of deliveries that she's faced have found the boundary. Six and a four. It's just 15 runs needed of 12 deliveries. Now going straight. Switzerland now takes the catch. After a six, a four. And taking the pressure off the chase, she loses her wicket. Pressure back on. But another shift in momentum that just said there, it's Birmingham Phoenix's game to lose. Erin Burns was doing a brilliant job. She's just tried to go up and over the offside and has picked out Smitty Mandana. She does some good work running round. Take a comfortable catch in the end. And the Phoenix now. Still work to do. Southern Brave will still feel that they've got a sniff. Often fields in that position. Sprinty Man and I are very used to fielding on the straighter boundaries. May have felt some pressure under that catch, but it's not a situation that's foreign to her now. Interesting. A test flint off only comes in now. Number seven. She was opening the batting in the previous couple of games and did very well with the bat. It's now only coming in now with the team needing 15. That's only just missed the stumps. Only just. It means Adams is done. Two for 25 for her. 15 needed from 10. Well, we can understand why. Umpire Blackwell hasn't given this as a wide because Tess Flintoff has moved over onto the offside. The wide lines move with her. Another excellent day out for Georgia Adams, the leading wicket taker in this competition. Proud father looking on and mum. Georgia Adams. Another look at the wicket of Erin Burns. Pretty man done a nice and simple for her. All right, 15 required from 10. Flintoff has just walked to the crease. She faced one delivery, which went just down at the leg side, only just missed her leg stump. Freeborn has looked to sweep. What will she do now against Bell, who's just been off a little bit today. It's quite been on her mark. Struggled with her length, she struggled with her line at times as well. Goes with a slow ball option straight away. Well, I we spoke to Lauren Bell at the start of our show and she was saying how much she's relishing the responsibility now of being England's opening bowler, but also death bowler as well. We saw here in the summer against Australia, she got whacked for 26 runs in one over. In a funny way, she would have learned a huge amount from that. Freeborn now needs to maybe just change the plan a little bit. It's two slower balls from Bell. She's giving her no pace, and you would expect that at this stage. Maybe just needs 
possible change of tactic. executed it brilliantly all three deliveries just touching 50 miles an hour so pace right off and saying to Abby Freeborn you're gonna have to take me on it's exactly what she tries to do Amanda again makes no mistake so suddenly Birmingham Phoenix are up against it really good from Bell of wickets and wicket now at a crucial stage as well because all of a sudden with those three balls which brought no runs they need 15 from seven but Emily Arlett can do this too I saw it last year from her a couple of special innings from her she goes straight looking to go Straight squirts it out to the offside. We'll get a couple of runs. Well, everyone was thinking it, weren't they? Spin. Michael Atherton was shouting, spin, watch the spin. Freya Kemp just about manages to watch the spin. How often do you say see players get caught out by that? Was egging Bell on. They wanted another wicket before she finished. She will end with two in her 20 balls. And it means with the last five, 12 are required now. So this really has been an excellent five deliveries from Lauren Bell. Just three runs coming from it and the wicket. Just continuing to relish this opportunity. Going to be hoping that the seasoned pro, the skipper, Anya Shrubsole, can close this game out for them. 12 runs needed for the Phoenix. Deep in conversation. Smitty Mandana and Anya Shrubsole. How many times has she done this, been in this situation? It's only one more home game for the Southern Brave as well, coming up against the Oval Invincibles in a couple of days' time. Just a few more opportunities for Anya Shrubsall in front of home crowd here. This has gone high. Shrubsall says it's mine. Shrubsall takes it. That's a wonderful catch with the crowd behind her. And a muted celebration. Well, I think for a moment, Smitty Mandana was keen to try and take this catch herself. <laughs> but she saw that Anya Shropsol was taking responsibility. So uh, another one to go for the Phoenix. This time, Tess Flintoff, she goes without scoring. But you can see just in the corner there, Smitty Mandana, she was after it. And Anya Shropsol, there's no way she was going to drop that one. signs of a team that are working so well together they're happy behind the scenes they're happy on the field as they should be well led by the experienced shrubs off now 12 from four dishes up a full toss we'll look at the square leg umpire looks like it's okay Maybe just want to have a little look at it, possibly. Oh dear. Oh dear. No ball it is. Crowd's not happy about that call. It seems to be catching, doesn't it? Bowlers not being able to keep their front foot or the height of the delivery 
just when it counts. There's a free hitter, it can't be out unless they run out. And we've seen the opportunities for run outs in this innings. We get back for two. Now this changes the equation so quickly. Now seven needed from three. This is the no ball call. That was, yeah, that's fair enough, definitely. She would have also got a warning for that as well, possibly. The umpire, if they felt that that was dangerous. Just seven needed from three. A boundary will change it. Only the one. Good fielding. This is good from the Brave. They just need to hold their nerve here. Everyone in the field, just think about your role. Get the ball in your hand, get it back in. Sensational work. How quick was that? Drops on as well, experience too. Tough for Hannah Baker, of course, come in and try and make a difference. The crowd has yeah. just erupted with that wicket as well. A record attendance today here at the Aegeus. Just under 10,000, 9,829 to watch this women's game and possibly watch the home side get into a position where they're just one point away from qualifying. Rihanna Southby, she's been so good all competition. Right, six needed from the last delivery. Movement in the crease. Needed to clear the boundary. Make sure, though, that this wasn't a front foot no ball, as, of course, as we saw yesterday in the men's game. The celebration start for the home side, who yet again have put in a winning performance in front of their home crowd. The record attendance at this ground has continually gone up this year. They are one point away from the next round. They've certainly been the most consistent side in this 100 competition in the last three years. See finalists in the first two years, always beaten by the Oval Invincibles, so they'll be so keen, first of all, ensure qualification and then try and go one step further another clinical performance though by the southern brave